the Opportunity Zone program, again, provides just one more tool in the sort of investor toolbox that gives them more optionality on how to invest their dollars. One of the things that are, is really critical to ensure the success of this program is having not only good stories that help communities and help drive new business and help drive new investment, but are deals that would have been good deals regardless. We're not just chasing down investments because they happen to be in an opportunity zone. It's really still taking that disciplined approach, making sure that the investments that are being placed, in particular in opportunity zones, are investments that really pencil out as good investments at the end of the day, and not just good investments because they happen to have a tax benefit associated with it. The idea behind this is to really try to figure out ways to free up that value that's sitting on the sidelines, either because it's not moving out of its current vehicle that it's sitting in, or because somebody has a gain that's already crystallized and doesn't really know where to go with it. This gives them people another opportunity on how to manage that. I think it's interesting when you see the, the convergence of the, the legal side, the tax side, the, the governmental side, and then the sort of transactional side of the industry all coming together to try to really focus on how do we put investors into a well-performing asset to really help continue to elevate the economy into that sort of next phase. We've been working with one of the top lawyers in the country since day one, making sure that all of our funds have been set up based on the most current understanding of how the regs are being interpreted, but also even going far into like where we believe that the decisions are going to land and leaving that optionality in those products. You can't do that with just a fly-by-night lawyer. You need somebody who's actually up in Capitol Hill. So we partner ourselves with those types of people. We partner ourselves with the firms that are best in class. The uh, investors really get to take advantage of a change in the market that really hasn't been seen. It allows us to be a lot more nimble um, and execute on a business strategy, provides more end dollars and end gain to the investors at the end of the day. We don't have to come up with short-term, more expensive money because we need more time to raise out the money that we need for that investment. The money's already there. And so we're now in a position where we're just deploying capital versus managing capital. We're one of the few companies that has the capability to not only execute on the broker side and buying and, and executing on that transaction, we can raise the capital and now we can find the asset and we can and, and close on it. But we also have that capability of, of remodeling the asset if we need to. And in most cases, you need to do significant amounts of rehab or ground up build on a, on a, on a real estate play in the opportunity zone. We already have that in-house in and we have a team that already knows how to do that.